morning everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is kiana on my channel i talk about relationships i give my thoughts and opinions on modern women today and i share my personal experiences in a way to help women become a better version of themselves today i'm going to be having a little chit chat with you guys and today's topic as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail the reasons why men don't want to get married so before I get started, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe and the bell next to it so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Now, let's go ahead and dive right into this topic. The first point I'm gonna be talking about today is monogamy. And the biggest reason men don't want to get married is because women expect men to give up their natural instinct. Think about it from the food chain and like animals men are like the hunters and women are like the prey so when men like to pursue or go after more than one woman it's not really cheating it's in their nature to hunt some men fight the urge of what feels natural to them so they commit to a monogamous relationship but then somehow later down the line they start feeling unfulfilled it's not much a woman can say or do for a man in order to make this natural urge to hunt go away. Some men ask for threesomes and then some men don't. Some men actually express themselves to their woman that they have this urge to be with more than one woman. You have those that don't express themselves to their woman and they go out behind the woman's back and do what they want to do just because they know the woman is going to feel some type of way because she does not understand this part of him. Women say they want an ambitious man. Okay, ambitious men want to have more than one of everything in life. So why is it that the ambitious man can have more than one car, more than one house, more than one business, but then that's just magically supposed to stop when it comes to a woman. And the reason why men don't want to get married because of the monogamy that comes with marriage, when men jump over the broom, they feel like they're being neutered and being stripped away of their masculinity and what comes natural to them. I know you guys are probably like, well, what about the men that don't want more than one woman? Okay, even for the men that don't want more than one woman, they just don't like to feel like they're being tied down. That's like putting a restraint around his neck and keeping him on a short leash. A possessive woman is a turn off for men. A man is not a woman's possession and she definitely cannot control him. The next point is some women are conditionally feminine or will go along to get along until that moment when she feels like she doesn't want to be a good woman anymore. Men want to know that their woman will submit to him with no problem. And that's like allowing him to lead and make decisions in the relationship. And the problem with this is society has made women think that they can use what they got to get what they want from men. And then once they've gotten those things, they can just go ahead and start showing their true colors or cut the guy off. Men are afraid to commit or even be married because they don't know what type of person you're going to be in the next three years or six months for some women, but they don't know how you're going to be in the next six months or three years or even after you get married. A woman may stop doing things that she did in the beginning of the relationship because she may think or feel like, like they always do, women use their emotions. They feel like, what's the point? They've already gotten the man. They've done what they needed to do to get him. And then they could just become comfortable. And then the woman will assume that the man wants to still deal with her for the rest of their lives, even though she became lazy even though she don't wanna cook or clean no more. And yet he still has to continue proving himself to her. Women feel like men owe them the world, especially when some women don't even want to put in the work for a man. For example, this is what society has led people to believe. Men are supposed to ask women on a date. 
A man is supposed to show he's even worthy enough to be in the relationship with a woman. And a man is supposed to show he's capable financially to take care of that woman if she decides she doesn't want to work anymore. When all some women do is sit back, go along for the ride, and just say yes when it's time for him to pop the question without having to do any work. That's not fair. That's why men don't want to get married because he has to put in so much effort to make the woman happy and she sits there and does nothing. Women make problems out of absolutely nothing. If a woman is presented with a problem in a relationship, she may have this unrealistic expectation of what the man should do. Say there's a couple and you have the man who goes to work, goes play ball with his boys after work some days, and then he's usually predictable in his routine. One day, he comes home a little later than usual. He may have gone out for a drink and forgot to tell her or his phone died or something happened. And then the woman has this unrealistic expectation of what the man should do because he's human. She forgets that and starts making up little things in her head, accusing him of being with somebody else, making a problem out of nothing. It could have been a simple, hey, you forgot to call, is everything okay? Worry about his whereabouts. Because especially today, a lot of black men have to fight so much more out in the world than women think. God forbid he got pulled over and you tripping on this man about where he been at, and then you'll be feeling bad after he tells you that. But no, the woman is sitting there making things up in her head, listening to the voice in her head telling her he up to no good girl you need to check on that when he get home but without her giving the man the benefit of the doubt just because not all men do things behind the woman's back last but not least men don't want to marry because of its risk nowadays marriage benefits the woman. Comment down below, what do you think men benefit from out of marriage these days, other than sex? Marriage doesn't benefit the man that much these days. The woman gets taken care of and then she becomes a liability because of her feelings. She may change up one day she's, oh, I'm in love. The next day, oh my God, I don't like this man anymore. We've grown apart and I wanna get a divorce. Here we go 10 years down the line and just because you feel like y'all have grown apart without putting in effort, you could just divorce him. And then now he owe you alimony for whatever reason that you come up with in your head. Unrealistic expectation. Marriages just do not benefit men anymore like they used to. For example, in traditional marriages, women supported the men in every way possible. They spoke highly of their man. They respected their man. They submitted to their man. They allowed the man to lead without much confrontation compared to today. Modern women nagging him, telling him he ain't no good, taking him for all he got, all his money, draining him of his energy. She's not being the peace like women used to back in the day. Modern women talk down on their men and emasculate him. Who wants to get married to a woman with the thought of she could possibly emasculate me? Modern women put themselves above men and make men feel less than, less than worthy of being a man. Men have egos and I know it's a tough pill to swallow. They do need their egos stroked a little bit. That's not on like a cocky level. It's just you have to uplift your man in positivity. You know, you have to be positive. Men need to know and feel like they run things. Like I said before, they don't want a woman who is trying to control him nor change him. They need to know that they are the leader, they are the head, and you are the neck you will support him. They need to be catered to without any fuss or fight. They don't wanna hear no rebuttals. Men are not that hard to please. And women are very, 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 very complicated. And they make things more complicated than they need to be. Trust me, I'm a woman, I know.
<laughs> but it's only hard to please a man if the woman resists. If the woman resists to show him any respect and appreciation for him being who he is and allowing him to live in his masculinity. So that is all for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye.